Peace. What's going on, you two preppers? This is your man, Brother Green, one half of the two RBG preppers. Coming at you on the solo tip for this video, brief video, where I'll be discussing food prepping. Now, some of you out there might be thinking, why do I want to prep my food? Or what is food prep? Why do I need to store food? All that good stuff. Well, there are a few reasons, such as S SHTF, stuff hits the fan, that's the PG version. Also, WROL, the world without the rule of law. We'll be discussing those two topics in depth in some upcoming videos, but for the person who's brand new to prepping, for the person who has no idea what those two terms I just mentioned were, if you're like me, every single time I go to the store, the price for an item today is more than it was yesterday. So for that very reason alone, that basic elementary reason alone, I think it's important to start stacking up a little bit of food. I mean, my nine-year-old son can understand that. Daddy, my favorite cereal costs this much today. It cost that much yesterday. So we're just going to show you real quick about some actual practical steps, actual practical acquisitions that I've made. Here we go. All right. We've just journeyed down the hallway and now we're making our way into the red room. Name the red room for obvious reasons. Some of you looking at this may see dysfunction, may see disorder. Hey, all I have to say about that is it's a work in progress. Also, these bags that you, these boxes rather that you see right here, they will shortly be used for storing things such as this. So you can't count that as disorganization. Uh, all right, let's scroll briefly. Some of these things will be explained in later videos. Uh, we got the sister right here, the warrior sister. She's protecting the uh, red room. Not really, just the frame went well with the room. I like the picture, so it is what it is. All right, let's keep scrolling over here. What do we have here? Underneath this, voila, the food preps. The food preps. As I mentioned in the previous video, introduction video, I just got put up on game about prepping about five months ago. Went two feet all in, if you will, on the importance, the reasons for prepping for upcoming things. And what you see here, like I said, is an accumulation over that period of time. If you're like me, you're not balling. And so these things weren't acquired in one fell swoop. No. What I did, my approach is each time I go to the store, I just try to grab one thing, the one extra thing in the cart for prepping. This isn't the pantry. I don't I don't I don't eat out of this room right now. There's a pantry with food in it. This is purely the prep food. Uh, let's take a quick look, in-depth look. Got up here, these are actual MREs. Actual military surplus MREs. Uh, there's a brother in my area who recently acquired a military surplus store. Met with him, we hit it off. Uh, bartered and came up on a couple of uh, MREs. Over here, we got some other prepackaged food that we'll explain a little bit later. Right here, have some uh, beef jerky. Not going to shout out the name. Ain't nobody paying me, so not giving them no undue, unjust, unnecessary advertisements. But probably going to take those out the Mylar bags, put them in some airtight bags, and use the Mylar bags for something else. Over here, we got some minstrone soup. Over here, we got the protein, what have you, the fish. I'm a big fish eater. And so I uh, got, uh, got the tuna on deck there. In the back, there's a whole row of corn happening back there. Uh, moving on over to the left. These things I struggle with getting. I struggle with getting these two items in the front for a long time. The jelly and the Tabasco. I was strictly disciplined, strictly focused, saying I need nothing but things I'm going to need, things that are going to give my body life, things that are going to give my body substance, things that are going to give me fuel to keep moving. However, I saw some other YouTube preppers and with, with, with luxury items, if you will, and I began thinking to myself, if and when things get dramatically worse, I'm going to want those comforts, those things that reminded me of when things were cool. Things that are, in the case of the Tabasco and the jelly, really, going to make things taste better. You know, all these things uh, I do eat, but uh, they're going to get mundane, routine, you know, bland after a while. So to spice them up, again, to give me some semblance of life and, and semblance of how things used to be, some hope, some comfort. That's why I got those cracking. Moving forward, we got the black beans. 
Got the uh, got the pizza sauce happening right here. Let's take a, let's take a pause for a minute right here on these uh, two items. These two items are vitamins, nutrients, antioxidants, all that good stuff. Electrolytes, all that good stuff. If and when things get bad, if and when the stores close, probably not going to be getting the balance of food that I need. So a good thing to do is to supplement your diet with supplements basic common sense uh, again won't be getting all the vitamins and everything I need so go ahead and you know a couple scoops of the uh, 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 of, the, of the nutrients here again vitamin C uh, scurvy is real deal <laughs> when your body doesn't get enough vitamin C and citrus food your body can begin to deteriorate not break down foods as, uh, as easy and of course the uh, defense of your immune system what have you scrolling on down got the rich crackers on deck up there the oatmeal, self-explanatory, over 110 servings in each of those. Again, more vitamin C in the form of uh, canned oranges right there. <clears throat> Got the uh, peanut butter on deck. Peanut butter has uh, massive amounts of protein, other good stuff for you. Down here, down here, you might be like, man, the brother went a little dumb on the cereal. Well, I was thinking that at first as well, but then realized as things change, my lexicon needs to change. My thought patterns need to change. I didn't go dumb. I actually went smart. Uh, back in February, again, when my knowledge base increased on this whole prepping, preparing thing, started cutting coupons. Started cutting coupons. Felt like a middle-aged white woman for a second, because uh, that's the idea of the image I get in my mind when I think about coupons. But, man, one of the uh, local stores had a deal going, buy one, get the other one for like a dime or something like that. So, brother went all in on the cereal right quick. You know, as much as the budget could afford at the time. Got a, you know, got the big, big box back there. A number of other boxes right there. Down there, got the boost. Uh, actually, I uh, got that from somebody. And so, uh, that's that. Uh, right here. Right here, you see the rice in a couple large bags. Well, uh, keep riding with us. Keep rolling with us. You're going to see that bag of rice transform uh, as a result of my most recent purchase of this here. Vacuum sealer. In terms of prepping, from what I'm aware of, what I've been exposed to, this is a very necessary item. Why so, Brother Green? For the simple reason that air is the enemy of preservation. Air is the enemy of food preservation. So, you get the vacuum sealer, suck out the air, gives the shelf life of your items a very long uh, extension. So again, keep riding with us. I'll be making some videos on bringing the rice and some beans and what have you to the air sealers. And that's also what those boxes right there were for. All right, some of y'all may be thinking, okay, the brother got some stuff, but you know, he, he, he ain't ready, ready. I agree. I don't know if there's ever a definition. I don't know what the definition of ready, ready means, um, but uh, I got something else to show you. But before I make that point, I want to make the point of these stands that I have here that are relatively empty right now, they will be getting filled with food soon. And the way I acquired these was, again, thinking practical, thinking actual, thinking basic, using common sense. If you're like me, and I'm sure you are, everyone, not everyone, but a large number of people around you are foreclosing, downsizing, going from houses to apartments, apart apartments to moving into somebody because this economy is show enough toe up. Well, I went ahead and was able to get both this black stand, six foot stand, about this four foot stand right here for a total of $15 from a guy who lost his job, had a storage facility, could no longer pay for his storage, storage facility and just giving away stuff. Got to, got to talk with him, gave me a few, uh, gave me some, a couple extra jackets, four jackets for free, all this stuff. He just needed to get out of his storage uh, contract. And so, you know, be smart, use your mind, use your eyes and uh, go ahead and get what you can get. Bam, what I was gonna mention, had a few extra food items here. These here are the buckets of those white bags, or buckets of filled with what those white bags were. I'll, go, I'll scroll back to those in a minute. But these here are um, food, as you can see. Um, pack prepackaged food um, that you can cook with, you know, minimal, minimal cooking skills, minimal cooking requirements, if you will. Uh, each pack. Each, each of these top two boxes have 200 servings of food. I think they said it lasts about a month for uh, four adults. And the two on bottom have about 275 servings. And so, again, I'm not balling. 
I'm a city dude. Started less than six months ago. And this is what I've been able to accomplish in that amount of time. I'm not bragging, not boasting, not even overly confident really with uh, what I got, but it is what I got. And I'm, I'm, I'm proud that I've taken the steps. No one taught me about prepping. Go to my parents' house right now. They ain't got nothing. Aunties, cousins, everybody think I'm crazy. But I'm just letting you know if for the simple reason of things going to cost more tomorrow than they cost today, this only makes sense to me. This is your man, Brother Green, one half of the two RVG preppers coming at you. As I always like to say, prepare, prepare, prepare today. Tomorrow's going to be that much easier. Signing out. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Tell a friend. Peace.